what we're going to do next, we want to draw in what we can see here. So we've got that dark blue around the edge, we've got turquoise in the middle, and then we've got this little glow of yellow, right? Mm. So I'm going to start with my dark blue. So we're painting before we do any... Yes. We usually never do that. Right? It's a little scary, but don't worry. So I'm going to start with my dark blue, and I'm just going to do a big curve. And then I'm going to paint in everything outside of that curve with the blue. And I'm trying to work pretty quick because I don't want this blue to dry too much. Okay. Okay. So can I start? Yes. You can paint away and don't wash your brush when you're done. So I'm going to keep going with this turquoise. I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm just going to keep using the turquoise. Okay. Okay. But essentially we're closing in this whole thing. So the whole background is going to be filled with this color, except for a circle. And, I and want where's the circle? Wherever you want it to be. That's going to be that where the yellow is. Okay. So you decide where you want that circle to be. You can paint it in. So when you're done filling in that turquoise, you're gonna wash and dry your brush really, really good. You're going to take yellow on your brush. You're going to start at the edge of the turquoise and go all the way in. And the turquoise is going to mix in a little bit with the yellow and that's okay. Okay. We'll try this again. So what we're going to do, we're going to create our mushroom shapes and our grass. Okay. Okay. So for our grass, we're basically just scribbling and flicking our brush so that we have grass sticking up all along the bottom of our page. Okay. And then are we gonna kind of fix it because we don't want grass floating in the air like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm just going quickly, but I'm just gonna go flick, 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 and you're gonna fill it all in so it looks gra like grass to you, okay? okay? Okay, so you fill it in and fix it, and I'm gonna fix mine too. Can I do that now? Yeah, yeah. And just try to make things short. Don't make things too tall. Okay, because we don't want long grass. Yeah, we don't want too much long grass. The grass isn't really going to do anything for us aside from frame things in. Is this too long? No, that's okay. Go ahead and snore.
I think that mine area is probably going to be really hilly. Cause yeah, that's okay. It is some of the grass. Yep, yeah, no big deal. And then I don't think that, I think that it would take a very long time mm -hmm. to go over the grass. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so don't wash your brush. See these shapes? Yeah. They're like uh, the a capital letter D. Okay. okay. These are the mushroom tops. So all you have to do is you're going to paint these mushroom tops so that they are not touching each other and they are not touching the grass. Okay? okay. Now, the most important thing, we want to make sure one mushroom is really big so we can put the fairy on it. Okay? okay. So once I have those in... Then I'm going to go ahead and draw the stems. Okay, and then we're gonna paint everything we see black. Okay, well, and some of them we're gonna paint different. Well, then we're gonna put color on top of the black. Oh yeah, because the red kind of looks like a blackest red. Yeah, black. it's a shadowy color, right? Yeah. So you can go ahead and do that. And I won't color mine in until I'm, I see that all your stuff is. Kind of looks like my mushrooms are dancing in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, kind of does look like that. Mm. Is that big enough? Yeah, that's great. Okay, I'm done. Okay. I want to have a lot of them. That's great, yeah. So what we'll do next, okay, you're going to make your stems. And you want to just make sure that the stems are smaller at the top than they are at the bottom, just like a tree. Once all those are done, you're going to paint them in. And because we did all the outlines, it should be easy to paint these in pretty quickly. This one kind of looks like that that doesn't really support it, so I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger. Sure, yeah. This, the, the stem was only like this small. Fair enough, yeah. So you're going to just paint in all those mushrooms, so now they are silhouettes of mushrooms. You know what I think is my second best painting? Do you remember that one where and then I added a whole bunch of stuff where it was like a dancer? Yeah. That one was my best painting until I did the waterfall. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. How do you paint so good? It just takes practice. Just like um, 
It's the exact way you get better at printing and writing, is by practicing over and over and over again. Is it because when you're in my kindergarten, you can barely read your writing? Right, yeah. And then when you're in my grade seven or eight, your writing looks... You get better, really right? Good. Yeah, and that's just because you do it so much more that you improve. It's literally just practicing it. That's why these classes are good, because if you come in every week, at, at least you can say you practiced art once a week. Not everybody can say that. So it's awesome that you got all the supplies at home. Yeah, but sometimes I find it hard to start a painting. Fair enough. And I usually paint for, for like a gift for other people. Yeah. Those ones are touching, but... Yeah, that's not a big deal at all, because some of them will touch. You can see here, like mine touched a little bit. It just, it's a little confusing. So if they overlap a little, that's great. That's great. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take our brush, black paint, and we're going to go above this circle shape. We're making the tree branch? Yes. So I'm just drawing one line. Don't make it fancy, don't make it anything crazy, just one line that goes straight over top of your glowing shape. Awesome. I'm trying to make it look not too straight. Yep, yeah. I like not it. Not too crazy. Okay. Awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make it a little thicker at the end where it comes off the side of the page. So now it looks a little bit more like a tree branch. It's thick, but it's got an end that's a little thinner. Good job. Okay. Now it's kind of up to you, but we need to add a couple branches to this branch to make it look more like a tree and not just a branch. So I start with one line and do the same thing. I go back to the, the base and I make it a little thicker. Okay, so I draw a line. And Can then I, I make it a little, little thicker. Yeah, of course. You do as many or as few as you think you need to make your, your tree look good. So bring that line down almost to the bottom of your circle and then kind of create two lines in the middle of the circle. All right, hold still, don't wipe your face on the camera. So from here, we're gonna build the rest of our lantern. So I'm gonna take the edges and bring them down. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over top and make it a curve. I can never seem to have enough paint on my thing. They always end up like that. Right, yeah, don't be afraid to put too much, put more paint on your brush. And then they end up coming big lines like that. That's okay. Don't push so hard. If you have more paint on your brush, you don't have to push so hard. 
Kind of looks like a milkshake thing. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to just add some little decorations. So I'm going to put a little boop on the bottom. I'm going to make some little tassels. Just so it looks like a fancy or a fancier lantern. So next what we're gonna draw is our little fairy sitting on our mushroom. So you wanna pick which mushroom your fairy is gonna sit on. Which one do you prefer? Well, well, do you think this one or this one or this? So I think if you put your mushroom on this side of the page, you'll have more room than on this side of the page. So would this one be big enough? Yeah, yeah, I think that would work. So I'll use this one over here. It may look a little different, but that's okay all the same okay so what I'm going to start with is think of it like a little snowman okay so I'm gonna start with a bum and I'm just gonna paint in the bum I'm going to put the body and then unlike a snowman this person has a bit of a neck so I'm gonna put the snowman's head on a, a bit of a neck so it's gonna look like a weird, creepy snowman, but that's the first step. I'm pretty sure almost everyone's the worst at drawing people, right? Yeah, a lot of people are. And I'm also not good at drawing people. Are you good at drawing people? You get better. I'm. It's one of the more challenging things, but I enjoy doing it because it's challenging. Um, doing projects like this can be really tough, though. Okay. Is this too big compared nope. to the bottom? No, nope, you're good. Don't worry. All right, so back to the fairy. Our fairy needs some hair, so you're gonna just kind of add that on, but that hair- well, I didn't do the feet yet. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't either, really, so that's okay. Just make sure the hair doesn't cover the front of the neck. Okay, so see how I went from the neck, yeah. Okay, so I so what I did is I made this big bend, so that's like her the top of her leg, the bottom of her leg, and a foot. I don't think that I have enough space. So you can make it look like she's got her feet kicked up on the other mushroom if you want, or you can just paint it in, and we can add details on top after, and it'll make it look it'll make it look more like it should. So I'm gonna basically get rid of part of this mushroom yeah. or all of this mushroom. No, no, no. So you don't need to t get rid of a lot of it. I think that that will look okay. Yeah, do what you think looks great, and then we'll we'll just yeah see. It'll all make sense when we're done. I can't do thin lines. Yeah, just don't press so hard. Potato has definitely probably been a distraction in all of the classes. All right. Okay. 
Why does it look like that the fairy's waving? Right? Yes. Until you add that other one. Yeah. Why do arms look like that they're connected? Right? A little bit, but that's okay. Once we add details in, it'll make things look a little better. Oh, that looks so good. Holy. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yours looks better than mine. Um, yeah, fix your hair a little bit. Okay, so we've got this funny, right now it's just a human, right? Because we haven't really done anything that makes it look like a fairy. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of a dress draping. So you do that. Um, so on yours, we're only, we're just gonna add a little bit here. Okay, and we'll fill the rest in when it comes time. Okay? okay? All right, so we've got all of the black details that we need on this painting. So we need to wash our brush and dry it off really, really well. Yeah, because black can take over yes. anything. And what we're going to do next, we're going to give all of our black paint a little bit of time to dry. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna go in with our small brush and our white paint. Okay, and we're gonna do some of these dots. They now, kind of look like fireflies. Yes, that's exactly what they're supposed to look like, but we want some of them to be bigger and brighter than others. So I'm gonna go around and make quite a bit of these with just dabbing my brush onto the canvas. And then I'm going to put one very close to my fairy that's very big. And I'm gonna make a couple more that are very big just wherever I think looks good. Okay, so you're gonna make a couple big ones and then a couple small ones. I don't know, but when I see it, it kind of looks, you know how in some movies and books where the fairies have like powers? Yes, that's exactly what this is supposed to look like. That kind of looks like that, like she's like, making like a ball of light and yeah. that spot, but all the other ones look like fireflies. Yeah, exactly. This one ends up getting in the light of the lantern. That's okay. The main one? Yep, yeah, that's okay. No big deal. Because once you got them all done, you're gonna take the bigger ones and you're gonna dab a little bit of yellow into them anyway. Sounds like something's going on upstairs. Oh, I think that was just the sound of Rich walking into the room. Nice, that's beautiful. Okay, so you can add some little yellows wherever you're like, I want it to glow more. And that'll kind of make some of them look a little bit more glowing and magical. This will kind of go with like my magical forest. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice job. Now with the same color, that yellow color, I'm going to add some highlights on the bottom of my branch. And I don't have to worry about making them perfect. Because the more wobbly they are, the more it makes my branches look wobbly. And you want them to look wobbly? Yeah, yeah, we're just making them look a little more highlighted. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna wash our brush. 
don't really like one of them though. Yeah, that's okay. The bottom highlights. Yep, that's okay. Can I cover it? Yep, absolutely. Then I don't have to really wash my brush. Yep. Now, as an option, you can also add some highlights onto your lantern. You don't have to if you don't want to, but. I don't even have white in my lantern. Oh, you can add white into your lantern if you want. Were we supposed to do that one that was a little bit wet? Um, no, I actually did it when I did my stars. Or my, my, um, what do you call it? My fireflies. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to take some white. And we're going to do a few little details with white. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in a set of wings on my fairy. And it doesn't matter if it overlaps things or shows things wherever you think they should be. And you just fill them in with white. And if you want to do different shaped ones, you can totally do a different shaped wing. It doesn't matter to me. Can you get enough white on my brush? Well, I started the wings acting at a wrong place. It's on the middle of their head. That's okay. So that's okay. Just make it make it work. Beautiful. So I made the wings yep. way too. Don't worry, just make it the way you want it to, and then let it overlap whatever you want. The fact that there's a mushroom behind your wings doesn't matter at all. I know, but now that doesn't even look like wings. Well, so that's okay. So just do an outline. Just do the whole outline, and then we're going to fill it in, and we can adjust the shape. Because any wing can be a cool wing. We just got to figure out what. Yep, just fill the whole thing in like it's a wing, and then we'll change the shape to make it look good. Okay, and then can I add some things? Yep, yeah. yeah. this isn't really, yeah. Just filling it in makes it easier to see the shape so you can adjust it till you're happy. Very nice. And how come when you go on it makes it look gray? Um, It's just a little bit of that residual black that's showing up probably. And you don't have to. If you want to just leave your mushrooms red or leave them as shadows, you can do that. This one was supposed to be the one where the fairies was sitting, but now this one just looks weird. Don't worry, because we're not finished yet. So I made a face with them. Oh, funny. That's great. I'll change it so it doesn't look like a face. So we put all these little polka dots on our mushrooms, wherever you think they look good. Oh, last time we did one where the fairy blood's supposed to go. That's okay. Okay, I'm done. We did all the mushrooms. So I want you to wash your brush. Okay, now it's okay, so we've got a nice clean brush. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our red and we're gonna add red to the mushrooms around the white spots. Okay, but only the lids of the mushrooms, not the stems. How do I make the feet here? Don't worry about that yet. Just ignore that for now. 
And then it makes it kind of look like that it's in the dark kind of yeah. the black underneath. Yep. Let me smudge one. That's okay. Do you like teaching classes? I do, yeah. Do you think it would be fun to teach classes or do you think it would be hard? I don't know. over some of the spots. That's okay, I do too. No big deal. And then it smudges them. That's okay. Just blend that color in a little bit and just highlight some of the red. Don't worry about making everything perfect. You have your whole life to make things perfect. We're just trying to learn to make cool paintings. And then actually, I'm gonna have this tutorial up by tomorrow so if you wanted to go home and do it again you totally could and then it would be like that I'm there again except right, that, I, yeah. that I wouldn't talk to you I would just see you paint yeah yeah exactly I almost forgot to do the back of this mushroom oh, which okay. the wings are covering yeah. How do you choose what paintings you want to sell and what ones you want to keep? Uh, well, I mostly make art just to sell, so I don't really keep many paintings um, unless I they mean something to me. Like the horse one? It, well, so that one I didn't paint. That, that was given to me as a gift, so I keep that one. I but usually... if you painted it, you would have probably kept it still because it survived that fire? Yeah, yeah. What's the next class that like you're gonna be teaching? Uh, like you're gonna be teaching life drawing. So we take turns being models and we learn how to draw people. And that helps us get better at drawing people. Yeah, because people are probably the worst. They're a difficult challenge, drawing. yep. Nice job. Oh, of course. Oh, 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 what is going on? What's going on? Why are you hiding? Do you think someone Did someone him? scare you? Did those mean teenagers scare you? You're hilarious. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Hilarious. Dramatics. Do you think one of them startled them? Oh, probably. She probably just wasn't expecting somebody. How did it get dark so quickly? Because when yeah. it was here, it was very light out. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been here for an hour. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so now what I'm doing is adding details to the fairy to make the fairy look a little bit more fairy-like. Um, so I've added a little bit of color to her hair. Okay, so I did white on that one and I did gold on this one just as an option. I'm highlighting a little bit of her hands. I'm gonna highlight a little bit of her knee. And can you help me get yeah. the leg? So do you want the leg to be resting in front of the mushroom? Or do you want it to look like she, it's behind the mushroom? How on the mushroom? Yeah, okay. And I just draw a little bit of the dress. 
So, and then do you have like any purplish blue? Yep. Which I could use for the hair? Yeah, so you can finish the hair and then you just finish uh, the wings. You can just put in whatever color you want for your wings. And that's it. Okay.